I just want to sh really quickly talk about shortcuts. And I'm going to talk, use this video to talk about it a little bit, but they are important. So let's look at this first of all, the enter key. The enter key is going to be your friend. I'm going to hit the enter key right now and I'll just put it here, idea one. When I get in here, I'll hit enter. It's going to take me a second enter to head down to a new topic. Idea two, enter, enter again, idea three. You can sit here and you can pump out dozens, hundreds of ideas. Just get them out. If I have an idea that goes along with idea three, hey, that's perfect. We love to have things grouped together. That's where the tab button comes in. Hit the tab button and I'll have new idea in here. And when I'm done, I go back to idea three. I just use, use, use the arrow keys, hit enter again, and I'm like, I'm on to idea four. I'm cranking this thing. So these things work great. The enter key, the tab key. When you're done these ideas though, if you say, well, idea three really is really strong. If you hold down the alt key, and you either use the up and the down, up and down arrows on your keypad, you can easily move things around. Or, clearly you can just grab things with the, the mouse, you can move things around, drag and drop, and do whatever else you think needs to happen. The F4 is also great for adding notes. So here's a great idea for you. If you're on a web page, you say, oh, this has inspired a really good idea for me. Great, I'm gonna write down the ideas, and I'm gonna go back and say, well, there are a couple paragraphs I wanna have from that website. Great, I'll go in, I'll enter the information. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll open a note, copy the information from the website, paste it in here. It's a really simple and easy way to add more content and it keeps it attached to the actual ideas. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos and links and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.